Hi everyone, um, my name's Jess. If you're just joining us for the first time, we had a baby three weeks ago. So I thought I'd do a bit of a, a sit down and, and just discuss, um, you know, the day before the, the birth and then thereafter. And I did manage to get a little bit of footage sort of, you know, that day before and bits here and there. Obviously, we couldn't film in the hospital. We'll start from the beginning. So this is baby number two for us. And we have Alora. She's our um, first child, our daughter. She's three years old. And she was diagnosed with Engli 1 deficiency, which is an ultra rare um, congenital disease. And so when we sort of decided we wanted to have another baby, you know, there were a few more steps involved for this, for this one um, to make sure that he was healthy. And so it's been quite a journey. So um, we'll look back at those videos. Yeah, so the day before. So um, the hospital gave me a little care package of things that I had to do. And um, it was a sponge, I think, and some gastric reflux tablets. So a sponge, like a antiseptic sponge. And um, yeah. I filmed a little bit of, of that. In the brown paper bag, we have surgical sponge, um, anti-reflux tablets, And then I've got these two there's two drinks. Yeah, so the day of the day of I was I was super nervous. I wasn't really nervous the day before, I was excited, but the day of I was shitting myself. <laughs> yeah, so we we rocked up there at the hospital and um, we had to go to the, um, surgery reception and we checked in and then we had our COVID test, both of us, so Adrian and myself. And then they sort of took us back and, you know, they went through some medical history again. They weighed me. Oh my goodness purposely made sure I had the conversation with the nurses and the doctors that I was anxious just because of what happened the first time around. Mostly, I just really wanted them to be gentle with me because um, I feel like I was manhandled by doctors the first time. But with the actual surgery, so we went into like this side room that's sort of off the theater and um, the anesthetist came out and asked some questions and you know there was probably about seven people in the room adrian was there which was good i was <sighs> i was very anxious i was breathing very heavily and they were very um sort of trying to reassure me and calm me down when we were in that side room they um put in the little um, drip in your hand and then they put me on the bed in there and then they willed me in and I had to sit up on the bed and then that's when they started to talk me through the process of the spinal um, spinal epi epidural and nerve block so I think I was quite 
anxious about that. I was just anxious about all of it. <laughs> I was quite anxious about that. Um, but I had to sit on like the side of the bed, sort of like hunched over a little bit, which surprisingly, reflecting on the previous time, I found that a lot easier because I was smaller. Whereas this time I felt like I couldn't really bend over. And Adrian was in front of me and they got me to like put my feet on his knees and push down and he had to hold my legs and I had to push back at the same time, hunched over. Um, yeah, and then they, they, put, they put something in, in my back. <laughs> and then I sort of went, oh, and I think they freaked out a bit and they said, where did you feel that? And I said, it just felt like muscle, like a muscle twinge. And so they were fine with that. So then they continued on. <laughs> so quick ultrasound. And then they put all the sheets on. Put the sheets like in front of you. And like it's literally like super close. There's a sheet right there. And Adrian was to the side of me. Um, the anaesthetist was on the other side. And... Um, the nurses like they shave you down there and then they put the the um oh, I can never remember it the urine thing so you can pee catheter anyway they did that um and it's just the weirdest sensation because you can feel it but there's no pain so you can feel what they're doing but there is no pain it's it's quite horrible. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Adrian was holding my hand and I told him to squeeze the crap out of my hand because I didn't want to feel anything down there. And um, I was just... I kept saying tighter and tighter. And by the end, once he was born, I actually had like a bruise on my hand. <laughs> but honestly, I, I could have got him to squeeze my hand tighter. <laughs> Um, but again, it's not pain, it's just you can feel it. And then after, like, when they're trying to get him out, the weird thing is that, like, like, they push on your belly, like, they push down to push him down. Um, and that was horrible. I was just laying there, just, like, <sighs> rocking. Yeah. And then all of a sudden there was a cry and a lot of crying and they quickly um, took him off to the side and then Adrian went with him. Oh, actually, no, that's right. Oh, reflection. The doctor pulled him out and he was crying and they dropped the sheet and so I saw him for the first time and honestly t <laughs> the, f the first thing I noticed about him was like <laughs> I don't know if I should say it's just like yep he's a boy <laughs> yeah that was yeah and um, I remember hearing the nurses saying oh he's so clean when they pulled him out, I was like, okay. And yeah, so he was crying and then they took him off and then Adrian, like they sort of, um, Adrian cut the cord and everything. And then the nurse like brought over the placenta and like was showing him everything, Adrian everything. And um, then they came over and put him on my chest and he sort of stopped crying by then, I think. Yeah, and then, so that was really nice. And he was just there for ages. And then Adrian was there and we just had some nice family time. Um, the nurses were taking photos and I seriously look like, in the photos, I look like I have died. <laughs> I look like a corpse with a baby on me. But um, I think for me, at that moment, the the point of being like sort of 
eu euphoric joy was actually hearing him cry because a law didn't do that and you know he hasn't stopped <laughs> he hasn't stopped crying since yeah that was a that was a thing for me hearing him cry so yeah and then um they sort of he stayed there until they sewed me up and then they put me on another table and they wheeled me into recovery told me what sort of medication I could have and then um Adrian had a bit of a cuddle and yeah then I was wheeled to my room in the in the ward by the next day um I actually was like ready to go home and I asked them if I could go home and they said yes so I think at around three or four in the morning the nurse came um and she was super lovely and she helped me like stand for the first time after which is always epic the pediatrician came around and just checked him over and um i i don't know what test that, that i had to do it was i think the only thing i could recall is that they needed to make sure i could pee <laughs> um yeah, so anyway, I ticked that box and um, yeah, and then we were discharged and I was able to walk like from the ward to outside. I managed to do that and Adrian got to load him up in the car, which I have some footage, so here we go. <sighs> Little Grayson. Grace and train. Smile for the camera. Yeah, so Adrian got to load him up in the car and that was um, that was a nice moment for him. It was a nice moment us all heading home because I've said it many times, um, you know, that was that was a sad thing about the first time with Alora is that we didn't get to all go home as a family. And so we literally, like he was born Monday, we were going home Tuesday. Um, and yeah so then when we got home I was looking forward to seeing Alora. I really was and I wasn't expecting her to be um sort of Alora's Alora doesn't quite focus on people or um or animals actually which is weird but I so I wasn't expecting her to sort of really engage with Grayson so um, but I just you know I just wanted to see them together and so that was my thing and she is slowly getting used to him slowly yeah so that was a nice moment um, bringing him home too so here we go. And we're home.
if you can think back to you know our genetic testing video our finding out if he was a carrier or not even just finding out we were pregnant and then here we are nine to ten months later <laughs> what a blessing really So that completes like that whole three day journey. Um, yeah, and then then it was like the start of the madness of trying to work out routines and 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 family life. My mother called me um, the day after our first night together. And she said, oh, how was it? And I said, it was a bloody circus. <laughs> Between him and the Laura waking up in the night. Um, but we're getting better. We're getting better, um, our routine. But it's, um, yeah, it's definitely, it's, it's definitely a new chapter, that's for sure. So crazy. I feel like in my previous videos I would say so crazy that like it's here we're having a baby and now I'm like it's so crazy he's actually here we have a baby <sighs> yeah yeah pretty blessed pretty grateful considering everything the last two to three years has brought us so yeah that's it that's the whole story that's the whole story and um yeah so <sighs> thank you for following us thank you um for supporting us please subscribe we really really appreciate it <laughs> all right guys see ya bye